Jessica's father is creating a fenced area for some of the lambs. There is an, ex there is an existing hedge, so only has to fence three sides. He has 60 meters of fencing available. So this is the hedge. Uh, there is an existing hedge, so this is the hedge. And this is where the fencing happens, these three. So uh, the total length of the fence or fencing that he has is 60 meters. So if the length, suppose the width, so this is the width. OK, so the width is given to be x. Suppose if the width is x, OK, so uh, the remaining length would be 60. Uh, this would be the length would be uh, so let's take the width as x okay so in the working the width is this is the width okay so this is the length so this is the width so the width is x here so here also it will be x so and so if this is x plus x this would be 60 minus 2x okay that's already given in the stable so this is your length okay and if it is 50, your length would be 60 minus, this is your y. This is nothing but your y. Okay, so this is x times uh, x times y or 60 minus 2x or 60 minus 10 is, uh, 60 minus 10 is 50, 60 minus 20 is 40. So here, if it is 15, 16 minus 2 times 15 is 30, so 60 minus 30 is 30. Okay, so if it's 20, 60 minus 2 times 20 is 40, so 60 minus 40 is 20. If it's 25, it's 50, so 60 minus 50 is 10. Can you see this is decreasing in 10, so this will be, if it's 30, if your length is 30, so this will become 60, so your length will become 0. So let me start with a 0, length of 0. This, this your, if your width is 0, Let's start with 0. If it's 0, this will be 60, and your area is going to be 0. So if it is 30, 15 times, 15 times 30 is 450. OK? 20 times 20 is 400. 25 times 10 is 250. And 300 times 0 is 0. OK. So this is, and we want to plot these points. When x is, so this is your length, your, this is your width which is x, and this is your area, okay? On on y-axis, we're taking the area, which is x times 60 minus 2x. Okay, so when x is 0, your area is 0. Okay, when x is 0, your area is 0. When x is 5, it is 250. Okay, so 5, 250, this is 200, so this is 250. For 10, it is 400. For 10, it is 400. For 15, it is 450. For 20, it is 400. Again, it's coming back, dropping down. For 25, it is 250. And for 30, it is 0. Now, this is a parabolic curve. So let me draw the curve. So the, on the grid below, draw the graph to show the relationship between x with x and area A. On, of the fenced area. So if you draw the graph, it will be parabola. Go like this, you have to join the dots with a smooth curve. Okay, so and then it joins. So this is the relationship between area or width and area. So this is your area and this is your width. Okay, and finally, we want to write the equation of this parabola. So this is the most important point here. So let me do use a red color. So this is the vertex. So this is a turning point. So the vertex is 15 comma 450. We can write the equation of this, almost 90% of this equation, by just looking at this. So the basic parabola, when I'm talking about the basic parabola, I'm talking about y is equal to x squared. Imagine this is the equation of y is equal to x squared, not drawn to scale. This basic parabola has gone upside down. It has gone 15 to the right. Yeah, this vertex, this vertex, first you can say has gone 15 to the right. It has gone 450 up. Your basic parabola or the vertex, talking only about the vertex, it has gone 15 to the right. It has gone 450 up 
and there is also a stretch factor there is also a stretch factor okay now stretch factor can be can have two things here in this case it has it has gone upside down and it has also uh, become fatter i think so so the equation to incorporate all these transformations would be a you can write in terms of a because your y is a is a times x it has gone 15 to the right so i can put x minus 15 squared plus 450 just like that and now i have to figure out what is a now a should be negative a should be negative because it has gone upside down and it should be a fractional number that's what i presume let's see what happens i may be wrong there okay so to find a you have to plot put any point on this parabola in this equation so the easy point is zero zero when a x is zero x is zero your area is also zero so let's put this back in this equation so zero is equal to a times 0 minus 15 squared plus 450 just like that and this is where you have to be super careful so this is 0 is equal to a times negative 15 squared plus 450 okay so this is 0 is equal to negative 15 is negative 15 squared is negative 15 times negative 15 is 225 so it's 225 a plus 450 now if you're not sure use the calculator so i would advise my students use the calculator if you're not sure so i'll put this in bracket like this minus 15 squared there's no fun in getting something wrong if you have a tool use that tool so this is 225 and now i'm going to find a I want to find A, so I'm going to take away 450 from this side. If I take away 450 from this side, I have to take away 450 from this side. Okay, so what will get cancelled? This plus 450 and minus 450 gets cancelled. And you've got 225A is equal to minus 450. Now what should I do? I should divide both sides by 225. So I'm going to divide this side by 225. But also divide this side by 225. So your this and this gets cancelled. Your A is equal to minus 450 over 225. So this implies, let me use a calculator, this will be a decimal number. Uh, this will be when you run minus 450, oops, minus 450 divided by 2 to 5 which is minus 2 okay that was pretty easy so this is minus 2 so i was wrong in saying that this is a fractional number so this has become steeper okay so final answer is area you can also write this in terms of y is minus 2 times x minus 15 the whole squared plus 450 so first I'll show this, whether this is right, in a table and also in a graph. Okay, so let us uh, go and type in this equation in graph, or let's go in table. Table, and in Y1, you type in minus 2, bracket, X minus 15 squared, plus 450. We already have the table. I'll go to set, I'll go from 0 to 30, isn't it? 0 to 30, so let me scroll, let me go up and look at the table. We went from 0 to 30 at a step of 5. So step, step of 5 and see whether it matches with, so can you see the 0, 0, hmm? 5, 250, uh, 5, when it is 5, this is 250, okay? So, and if you scroll down, 15, 450, and so on. And if you go to graph, type in the same equation, and I need to scroll like this. Exit, and need to change the scale. I'll change the scale from 0 to, say, 35, step of 5, 
and don't change the dot I'll go from 0 to 500 step of 50 okay and see what happens oops what happened is my scale right yeah okay and draw it yeah so this is your parabola and then to just check so you go g solve maximum when x is 15 your width is 15 you get the maximum 